Hello and welcome to Talking Whiskey. My name is Grant and today we're going to be talking about the Balconis True Blue. So Balconis is a distillery in Texas in Waco and they were first founded back in 2008. They then began distilling in 2009 and they're one of the first Texas whiskey distilleries after Prohibition. Sometime later, they then managed to release the very first whiskey in Texas since Prohibition, which was the Baby Blue. Now, today we're going to be doing the True Blue, not the Baby Blue. So the True Blue is made from 100% blue corn. Now, blue corn is just a strain of corn that they've used to make the True Blue. It's also used in the Baby Blue and also then the cast strength of the True Blue, which is the cast strength True Blue. This is the 100 proof one, so it's coming in at 50% ABV. So. Let's get it poured. Now, as always, when I'm gonna be doing my tastings, I'm gonna do a minimum of three notes in the nose and a minimum of three notes in the taste. Something cool about this, or something cool about Balconis, is that they do tend to, on their labels, say when it was distilled and what batch number this was distilled. So this was distilled and bottled in 2018. So, let's go for the nose. <laughs> okay, I've got to go up front on this one. I am a massive fan of Balconis. I'll put them in my like top three distilleries that I've ever had. I absolutely adore Balconis and I adore the stuff that they've had or stuff that I've had from them. I, and I've, I've just got to get that out there because I'm not going to be very unbiased in this video because I adore them. Oh. So immediately on the nose, you've got this lovely big punch of like a rich, dark molasses. You've got a bit of burnt toffee going on in there as well. And there's like a, like an apricot, like a real fruity, yeah, like a fruity note and apricot going on. Oh yeah. And now the, 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 the proof, so bearing in mind it's 50% it's ABV or 100 proof, it's not too big, but it gives a certain level of denseness to it. Mm. And you've got, uh, you can like, really smell the corn. So the corn's kind of coming through almost, almost dusty, if that kind of makes sense. Like imagine you've got a load of corn that's just been strewn out and then you've got the corn particles up in the air. So you've kind of got that little element of a dust note in there. That's something that I'm getting from that as well. And you've got a big punch of caramel too. There's some vanilla in there as well. But the big leading thing for me is just that beautiful dark molasses and that burnt toffee note. Now those two notes are something that I quite typically get with Balconis, that burnt toffee and that big dark molasses. To me, I just, I find them in pretty much everything from Balconis, along with obviously other notes that they will have in the different bottles, but I'd love to know if you guys get the same, if you guys feel the same about Balconis, are they kind of typical notes that you get with them as a distillery? Just let me go, let me know guys. All right, I've got to go in for a taste on this, I can't, I, I've got to go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my God, that is amazing. Oh yeah. So on the taste, again, you've got that lovely, big, rich, just molasses, that burnt toffee, that kind of fruit note on the taste kind of dies down a little bit and it comes a little bit more caramelly. You've got a big punch of that alcohol. There is a big alcohol punch on the taste. It's not unpleasant, but it's just kind of real dense and rich and just, Oh yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, this is an absolute solid whiskey that's come from them. Oh yeah. Oh, so good, that is so good. I really love this whiskey. Hmm. So on that second taste, I got a little bit more of the fruit coming out there. I think I was just kind of acclimatizing to the the proof on it a wee bit. Let's go in again. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
That fruit note is definitely coming out a little bit more in the taste once you've kind of acclimatized to the alcohol a wee bit. It's almost kind of coming out um, a little bit like a blueberry, like a, kind of like a fresh blueberry. There's, there's a fruit note in there. Again, you've still got that burnt toffee, the molasses. There's that real rich kind of caramel. Now, bearing in mind Texas with its climate, you've got a lot of heat interacting with the wood there. You've got a very kind of unique climate in America with aging whiskey. So a lot of Balconis' stuff doesn't tend to be more than three years old because they just can't. It, otherwise, the wood becomes way too much of an impact. So something interesting is I'm not getting a massive wood effect from it. I think what happens with Balconis, with the way that they do their distilling and the way they do their cuts, and again with the climate, that to me is why I get those burnt toffee and molasses notes. I think it's part of their whole process and then their own climate that they've got. It's just outstanding. Oh, I'm going back in, I'm going back in. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. And again, I'm kind of getting a little bit more, seeing how I said on the nose, there was that kind of dusty corn note going on. I'm getting a little bit of that now, kind of on the back end of the taste. So there's all those other notes that I said, then kind of a little bit of corn kind of going on in the background at, at the end of it. Right, let's try it with a little bit of water and let's see what happens. So again, I'm only gonna do a little drop. That'll do nicely. So whilst I let that wait there a little bit, don't take my word on how much I really enjoy this whiskey. Balconis have won so many awards with the True Blue. I mean, year after year, they'll be picking up something in general. But the True Blue, back in 2019, it won a gold award for Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible. 2018, it won the World Corn Whiskey of the Year. And, well, let me know what you guys think, but I can see exactly why they get it. It is just an outstanding whiskey to me. Another thing that they tend to do on their bottles is they do tend to give some form of age statement. So they say on this one that it has been aged for at least 24 months in Texas. And just, well, just look at the color for that. For just two years, look how dark of a whiskey that is. I think that is just incredible, the kind of effect that they get from their climate. Anyway, I. I should be a rep for them. <laughs> I absolutely adore them. Somebody fly me out to, can someone fly me out to Waco? Okay, can I be a rep for you guys? Or I can be a rep here, it's fine, I'll go for it. I just, mm. okay. Right, now we've let that rest a little bit. Let's go in for the nose with a little bit of water and see what's happened. Ooh, yep. So that water's kind of really opened up the fruit note. So the apricot is now kind of coming to the top of it. You've got that blueberry there as well. So the blueberry that I said I got on the taste, now that's coming out on the nose. Again, you've still got that big punch of the dark molasses and that burnt toffee. I think they're always gonna be there and I'm gonna say it again and again and again until you're all convinced. But the fruit's definitely coming out a little bit more. There's a slight, um, there's a slight coconut and a slight bit of vanilla as well. But the, the coconut and vanilla feels like it's, it feels like it's a sweet, like a boiled sweet, like a hard sweet that's, that is vanilla and coconut. And that's, that's kind of what I'm getting. Hmm. All, all that kind of fruit note, fruitiness has kind of come out a lot more. Th that corn dust has kind of died, died down a bit, but now I can kind of smell like a sweet corn as opposed to like a, 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 a dusty corn almost. All right, let's go in for a taste. Mm. 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 So that little drop of water has just made it really smooth. So all those notes that I was saying earlier. So imagine, imagine you've got a ball and all those notes, so the, the, you had the, the fruit notes in there, the kind of molasses, the toffee, that apricot, the little bit of corn. Imagine they were kind of all jaggy, kind of around the ball, and that's the way you're interpreting it. The little bit of water's kind of smoothed it down a little bit. So they're all there. I don't, I don't feel much has changed. Mm. So not much has changed. It's kind of just become a little bit more smooth, a little bit more rounded. I don't know which way I prefer, actually. 
that I prefer with water or without. Mm. That's pretty good both ways, if I'm honest. Mm. Oh yeah, that's so good. Oh. Okay, I think this is... Okay. Again, I know I was going to be unbiased in this one, and it was difficult for me to be fairly objective in this one. I love Balconis, and I think this is kind of an absolute classic. I mean, it's part of their core range year after year. Um, if you want to get into uh, Balconis and what the Balconis spirit is, there would be two that I would definitely recommend up front. First one would be this one, as it's kind of one of their original releases, and the other one is their single malt, the Texas single malt that they've released. I'll do a video on that one. That one is outstanding. But the true blue is absolutely incredible. I mean, it's uh, just a beautiful example of a, a different strain of corn in quite a unique climate in America and just what the distillery and what the head distiller and the whole, just everything that goes on, what they can produce. It is just, I found it outstanding. I mean, it's won award after award, a year after year. And I think that kind of speaks for itself. I, I, again, I know I said it a few times, I get a load of typical notes, which are these kind of burnt toffee and molasses notes from Balconis, and they are notes that I just adore. I would say if somebody's quite new to whiskey, this might not necessarily be the, bit, be the best thing for them. That 50% is definitely gonna give you a bit of a kicking if you're not ready for 50%. If you're kind of only used to maybe a 40% with a little drop of water or even kind of cocktails and stuff with whiskey in them, this might be a little bit too much for you. If you're into American whiskey and you haven't yet experienced anything from Texas or especially Balconis, absolutely give this a try. And let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about Balconis in general, what other Balconis ones you really enjoy. Would you recommend it to friends if you knew that they were a big fan of kind of American whiskeys? I know I definitely would and I've got friends that whatever they come over, we'll, we'll have at least one thing from Balconis that I've got and I've got a few. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It'd be good to know what your opinions are. See if we've got any notes the same or if I'm just getting something completely different from everybody else. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And of course, cheers to you all.